5657. 69 inch reach, 70 and a half for Brian Bowles. With the introductions, the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record. Ten wins, one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Athens, Georgia, he is the former WEC Bantamweight champion, Brian! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record, 25 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former WEC featherweight champion, the California. begins our referee in charge, Jason McCoy. Jason McCoy, our yeah. referee. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing a face-off. Get back, guys. All right, touch close. Get back. <laughs> you ready? Go. Go. We're not doing a face-off. They're like, yeah, we are. <laughs> you ready? They forced a face-off. You ready? Off. Absolutely. Fight. They're going to face off right now. Bowles in favor. Fight's headed for three. Five-minute rounds. Red trunks for Brian Bowles. Black trunks for the California kid, Uriah Faber. Keep an eye on the right hand of Brian Bowles. It is a weapon. And Uriah goes to the body right away, which I think is a smart strategy for him to duck under the power right hand of Bowles. Uriah, an outstanding wrestler. And has very good footwork, great movement. Very explosive as he leads with the uppercut. Nice leg kick and a good counter right hand. 13 wins by submission for Uriah Faber. 25 overall. Brian Bowles is 10 and 1 in his MMA career. 5 and 1 in the WEC. There's that right hand, but he ducked under it and came back with a combination, did Faber. Faber's the type of fighter, Mike, that when you see him fight and he loses a fight, like the fight to Dominic Cruz, he comes back better. And that's what I'm anticipating and seeing tonight, some improvements that he made from analyzing his performance in his title-losing effort against Dominic Cruz. Well, look nice what, right he, hand look what he did after the Jose Aldo fight that you and I got to call, Joe. You know, choking out Takea Mitsugaki real quickly back in the WEC. Yeah, in, in brutal fashion. Yes. And, you know, Uriah is 32 years old, but he is still a work in progress. He is still improving. Every day, as his bulls at 31. Training in Athens with Adam and Rory Singer. Forrest Griffin spent a lot of time early in his career. A lot of uppercuts here from Faber. Yeah. I think it's something that he must have analyzed the style of Bowles, the way he holds his hands, the way he moves in. He kind of ducks his head down. I think Uriah feels like that uppercut's a perfect weapon to capitalize on that opening. Come right up the middle. Nice the body. body shot again. Uriah's doing a great job with the head movement and then the counter. Faints and comes in with a great combination. And that hurt. Bowles tries to answer. Oh. Both men hit very hard, especially in this bantamweight division. Both men have had, as you mentioned, Joe, some, some hand issues, though. Remember, Uriah basically fought with broken hands against Mike Brown and used his elbows. Yeah, that's a very good point, Mike. Both guys have had some significant injuries and surgeries to their hands. Oh. Both men, former WEC champions. Uriah tries to throw him down. That was a nice knee by Bulls, but 
Uriah closes the distance well. Uriah is really controlling the center of the octagon, Mike. And there's the shot. There's the takedown. Oh, but he got caught in the guillotine. But you know what? Uriah's been in guillotine yeah, all day, right every away. day yeah. for years. <laughs> no, he's a, a master at the guillotine, they, really. They, they should change from Team Alpha Male to Team Guillotine. Yeah, they are ph phenomenal at it. All of them, everyone. Mendez, Benavidez, yeah. all those guys have amazing guillotines and great setups. And Brian knew he didn't have it. He gave it up real quickly, Joe. And right now he's just holding on to Uriah. He's got an overhook on his right arm. Trying to control his posture. Look at that, how wow. Uriah exploded out of that. And Bowles again goes back to that overhook, but now he's going to have to squeeze it tighter. But he can't hold Uriah. So a good exchange on the feet by both men, but a big takedown scores points for favor here in round one. Bowles trying to get back up to his feet, but Uriah using that right leg of Bowles and lifting up his hips with his hands, scoots him away from the cage. Now he's going to drop some bombs on him. And the California kid has a ton of California fans here inside the Shark Tank, the HP Pavilion. He's got to look out for that up kick. And Bowles is also looking to sweep. Oh, there big up kick. Big up kick job. by Bowles. But he's able to walk through it and get back down and smother Brian Bowles as this round comes towards the end. Stop. Hey. The battle continues, round two. forward Brian Bowles born in Charleston West Virginia went the distance for the first time in his career against Takeya Mitsugaki okay with that uppercut that one hurt yeah. Mike that one hurt. oh big knee huge knee he's in trouble Bowles is in all sorts of trouble Uriah trying to finish it right here Bowles has got to tie him up he's got to tie him up stop these bombs from dropping on him Uriah trying to finish this fight. Bowles is trying to get to his feet. Uriah's got a guillotine. Gonna try to choke him. him. Oh, nice vicious knee. knee to the body. And he continues to pour it on. Bowles is in trouble again. Again going to the guillotine. Bowles defends. Uriah's just going to wait for him to get up to his feet. Oh, oh big, big elbow. elbow. Oh. Bowles is in all kinds of trouble here. Uriah steps over into side control, and another big shot. Now he's got it. Trying to finish it. Trying to choke him out. He wants that trilogy to be completed with Dominic Cruz. Gives the thumbs up. Stop, stop, That's stop, it. Stop. It is all over! Uriah Faber chokes out Brian Bowles. Spectacular performance by Uriah. Uppercut that starts it off. Look how he throws himself into that shot, Mike. Just turns his whole body into that. Just a powerful, powerful uppercut. And here you see a huge elbow from tying him up here, and then another one on top of it. And we said it before, we'll say it again. These alpha male guys have some <laughs> of the best guillotines in the world. And there you see Uriah steps into it, rolls over with it, gets on top in a full mount. Tremendous pressure on the neck of Brian Bowles, and he is forced to tap. And indeed, the California...